The longbow in the right hands is one of, if not the most broken gun in Modern Warfare 3, but if you don't got the right class, you are going to get a lot of hip markers. And so today I got you guys the fastest one shot, no hip marker longbow build with that. I dropped the back to back to back MGPs. It's nasty. Okay, ladies and gents. So the build that we are rocking is going to be a little bit faster than my last one. And all you guys really enjoyed that last longbow build. And so this one, honestly, I think is a little bit better, but you do need to hit like upper chest headshot shots to the enemy even with the other one just in general with this gun you do need to aim pretty high and so to make that a little bit easier we are going to be adding the no stock this is going to allow you to ads a lot quicker which now when you do see the enemy and you go for the pop shot which is the way you want to use this thing Here, i'll give you guys a very important tip when you are sniping so you want to basically not drag scope you want to go boom 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 you want to be able to have very good center and you need to put that white dot on the enemy's chest so then all you have to do is pop shot you don't really want to have to drag shot when you pop shot that is going to make it so you can actually kill the enemy way quicker if the enemy does hit one shot on you your screen is going to shake a lot making it very hard to hit these shots and so just make sure you are playing very uh like aggressive or very confident with your shots if you're not confident you are going to miss you need to be confident with your shots which when we add the no stock it's going to allow you to play very aggressively and even if you don't want to play aggressively this is going to allow you to ads about 8.4 percent quicker which is very very helpful and then yes we are going to be losing a little bit of our recoil control but this is the longbow so that really doesn't matter for the next attachment we're going to furthermore bring up the overall handling of the weapon the main reason we are running the not z3 grip this is to increase the sprint to fire speed that is very crucial if you are trying to quit scope basically when you're running around the map and you see the enemy and you want to quit scope there is going to be a delay from when you're sprinting to when you fire your weapon so if you do add this that is going to lower that delay by 16.5 percent plus it's going to lie to ads about 2.4 percent quicker with the only con being that we are losing a little bit more of our recoil control but like i said that doesn't really matter by the way do you want everything in modern warfare 3 but you're just a little too busy then i would definitely check out guapsi guapsi is a very reliable company where they will play in your account to unlock whatever you want definitely check them out and see what they have to offer i'll have their link in the description for the next attachment, we are going to be adding a laser, which the lasers, if you are hard scoping a lot, I don't know if you should really run a laser since the enemies are going to be able to see the laser, but I don't really recommend you guys to hard scope. Like I find I'm actually a way worse player when I do hard scope. When I go around quit scoping, having full confidence, I hit way more shots. And so that's why I do recommend you guys to run the OLEV laser. This is going to add a lot of aiming stability. So now basically, if we don't have the laser on there, when we go into the firing range, you guys will see there is a lot of sway that sway basically will you ads that is going to continue to swing so sometimes you'll see the enemy there but then as uh, like by the time you're ads your gun is going to sway so then it's going to sway up there and you're going to miss your shot but if you have a lot of stability on your weapon it's not going to sway as much therefore you're going to have more accurate quit scopes and so then you can get the pop shots a little bit easier now you guys can see this really doesn't move as much and so when you go to ads it should be basically exactly where that white dot is and it's always pop shot it's going to make your accuracy a lot better you don't really want to drag scope too often plus this actually is going to increase the ads and the sprint to fire speed even more allowing you to play even more aggressive if you want to this is going to allow you to play whichever way you want for the next attachment we're going to furthermore increase the mobility and then after that that's when it gets into personal preference honestly this under barrel could be a personal preference thing as well and you guys will see what i mean in a second but for this build i do recommend you guys to go over to the under barrel and then you want to add the hand stop this one is going to basically making your quit scopes 4.3 percent quicker and you can move around the map 5% quicker. So therefore, you are going to be able to get into way more engagements and you're just going to be able to hit so many more feeds as long as you're somewhat accurate with the weapon. But for now, since we did not increase the damage range that much, you are going to get a decent amount of hit markers if you don't aim upper chest. You guys are going to see in the gameplay, I am aiming headshots upper chest. Like I have pretty good accuracy aiming up here and so I don't get that many hit markers. But if you are an average player, you might get a decent amount of hit markers if you don't run the Pro 99 long barrel, which is not the class that we're rocking in the gameplay but my last video has like 60 or 70k views and it has this barrel a lot of people do like this barrel since it is gonna increase the damage range by 34 percent and so now you're not gonna like you're gonna be able to get very consistent one shot kills up to about 17 meters and then a uh, headshots if you hit that you can get a one shot kill no matter what and so if you guys do want to take a screenshot of this build this is a phenomenal one we are not rocking this one in the gameplay though and you know some people might be confused why am i not running a bolt the uh the quick bolt 
which the quick bolt is going to allow you to rechamber the next shot 11.3% quicker. And so basically, you actually can fire this weapon 11% quicker, which is nice when you are hard scoping. But the reason I don't really recommend it is because if you are quick scoping, by the time you ADS on your next target, you're already going to be like chambered and that increase of fire rate really isn't going to help you that much. If you look at any like players who only snipe on this game, they don't really they don't really run the quick bolt. And so I don't really recommend it unless you are hard scoping a lot. If you guys do want to add a optic, the optics I do recommend are going to be the Slate Reflector or the Chrono Mini Pro. I believe the MK3 Reflector, if it's on here, that one would be pretty good. Oh, Overall, though, a lot of these are going to be a personal preference thing. There are so many different sites in the game that it really depends on the one that you like. These ones I wouldn't really rock because they do hurt the ADS speed by a ton unless you are trying to have some fun with the thermals. Maybe you can find one in here that you got to do like an armory unlock. But overall, I do recommend you guys just to stick with the default scope. I found myself doing the best with the default scope. If you guys do want to increase the ammo count, I mean, if you want to increase the damage range by a ton without really hurting the ADS speed, then you guys could actually go over to the ammunition. Then you can add the high grain rounds. It's going to increase that damage range by 15%, making it so you actually can get very consistent one shot kills up to 14.6 meters. And then we are losing more recoil control, but that really doesn't matter at all. And then let me throw on this hand stop on here. So now this build, if you guys want to take a screenshot, this one is not, it's not going to have as much damage range as the one with the barrel, but you are going to have more mobility and you're going to have more damage range. And so you might honestly like that one more. You really got to find the one that you like most. And what you guys can also do is add a magazine. Magazine. In the gameplay, I am running the 10 round magazine. Sometimes, you know, I wish I had the default 30 round mag, which is crazy, but the 10 round is going to increase the mobility by a lot. We can ADS 6.3% uh, quicker and just our overall mobility. Everything gets a boost on there. And so I really find myself popping off with the 10 round mag. Plus you can reload a little bit quicker. And so this is the build that I'm rocking in the gameplay. You guys can see that the ADS speed is very, very fast, allowing you to easily quit scope the enemies. And again, if you do want to increase the damage range, I would take off the hand and stuff or I would take off the laser and I would add the ammunition or I would add a barrel if you do want to add an optic I would probably just take off the 10 round mag the laser or the hand stop you know basically the main part of this build is going to be the no stock and then the not let z3 grip the rest is going to be a personal preference thing if you guys do want to take a screenshot of the build I'm rocking in the gameplay there you guys go and the second I'm actually rocking the karambit I do like the pistols but the karambit very broken you guys are going to see me hitting the enemies with the movement and schmovement this thing's got crazy lunge at times you can literally knife them from Narnia and it's going to kill them. It's super broken. All the pros actually GA'd it in the competitive league. And then for the vest I'm running, I'm rocking the demolition vest just so I can have two throwing knives, which can make for some crazy clips. Didn't really hit anything with the throwing knives. And so I'll probably go back to the infantry vest just so I can run around the map a little bit quicker. And then I do have the scavenger gloves since I was going for a nuke. If I'm not going for a nuke, I recommend you guys to run the marksman. This is actually going to increase the, the, like, uh, the, sway, the sway control and it's going to make it so you don't flinch as much when the enemies shoot at you basically it's the perfect perk if you are trying to quit scope a lot if you're going for the nukes obviously you might want to run the scavenger and that trophy system was for the shipment gameplays and then for the terminal mgb i got i think i was running the munitions box and that's when i was running the marksman gloves for the boots i am running the lightweight boots so i can move around the map a little bit quicker if i am on a bigger map i will be running the covert sneakers so then the enemies don't really know where i'm at and then obviously you know it is personal preference you can use whatever you want i mix it up all the time and then i am running the EOD since I always get nade spam. Ghost is very fun if the enemies aren't throwing too many nades and then tack mask is also pretty good. I like all these ones too but it's just really hard to not run like EOD or ghost. Now let's get into the nasty MGB gameplay. And you were dead. I kind of want to take off the 30 round mag to have a faster ADS. Oh, dude. I just need to hit my shots. What am I trying to do? Well I need to basically record a longbow video. <laughs> That's kind of like a big reason. And yeah, that's basically the main thing. I just got to get a longbow video out, but I know I can hit some crazy clips. I haven't used longbow on shipment yet. I've not used it on shipment in this scope. I don't know why, but it feels bigger than usual. Oh, is that collateral? No, that wasn't. Yo, Kirion McNuggets with the, with the 199, 199 pounds. Keep high. I see you guys. Keep up good streams. Yo, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the good energy. My man. Yes, sir, dude. Just for you, dude. Just for you. Watch this. No! I was supposed to hit that. I just... You know, once I get into a flow state, we're good. Enemy 
Oh, Ace need to get into that flow state, and we are chilling. Revenge is beautiful. Revenge is beautiful. Revenge is very beautiful. Boom. Oh my days. Oh my days. Come on. Okay. I'm starting to get into my flow state, chat. We've got collateral. The flow state is happening. No! Let's go! Shit! Boom. We're gonna do a veto. No! Chat, it took too long. See, that's why you always gotta move after every shot. Yeah, Tayden, they should remove all stuns, all shotguns, and then ship ins playable. And all gas. Basically, remove everything but the gun. Check your fire and shotguns. Bro, this thing with the red dot would be crazy on this map. Like an ACOG. With an ACOG, this thing would actually be nasty. I might try that out. Try some ACOG sniping. I just like, with the scope, I feel like I get like, like it's easier aimbot. Bro, Reese, if I could hit a clip, bro, imagine the Facebook. Imagine how mad the Facebook's gonna get. Oh, we're on 18. You are still useful. Oh, the ego chow is in. Stun incoming. Releasing creature drone. Check your fire. What? Watch your fire. Bro, it's like I can't. I just have to focus so much. No. I need to get into their spawn. We're on a 25. MGP! Nasty, nasty, let's go! With the wall chat, we're, we're just too nasty. Bro, that's a clip, Reese. That shit's gonna pop on Facebook. Check your fire, or my next bullet goes in your head. What? My head? Shit! Oh, One he got down. fucking world star, dude. Time to nuke! Let's go! Let's go, boys! Yeah! MGPs! Unless, you know, sometimes... Well, okay, if I drop a nuke, then you know, it'll be a little, little bit different. Whew. Bro, this class? Nasty! Six on? Nasty! Hip marker? Nasty, in an actual nasty way. Bro, this thing on shipping would be so nasty. How do I miss that? How do you miss that? And so this is like the best, fastest. Whew. Bro, imagine the enemies just spawn right there. Bro, sniping in this game is amazing. I almost had the multi. I almost had the multi. Hey, okay, remember when I when I hit that nasty clip and then you cut the whole thing with your generous five dollar dono? Chad, I had a really nasty clip, and then Caleb donated like five bucks. Oh, I should have waited for the clot. And then I lost it. Because the dono covered up the whole screen. Oh, chat, we're on the 15? Dude, I swear sniping in this game is so easy. Yeah.
Okay, like, make sure you settle down Golden. He's been getting a little bit wild lately. Oh, I forgot I have throwing knives. That's gonna go so hard. Chat, throwing knife clips. Bro. Bro, it's gonna be crazy. Kayla's gonna time it. She's gonna see the future. She's gonna cut the whole clip for like a, a five cent dono. <laughs> Okay, got a lot of dudes in the plane. I love when they're in the plane and I can just go up here and just go boom, triple clot. There we go. Bro, if I hit that, that would have been nasty. Yeah, I feel like this class is just a little bit too slow for my liking. It needs to be a little bit faster. Bro, I hit the stim and it was like, no, we're not doing stimming today. Motherfucker thought. He thought he could kill me off the nuke streak. He's living right now. Bro, what is that spawn, dude? And MGB. I think that's the easiest, fastest MGB I've ever got in my life. Yeah, I think we got a... Uh, a great lobby today. We were blessed with the best lobby on earth. The best motherfucking lobby ever. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Sebastian X Sneeko, y'all are just like each other. Y'all should collab. What do you mean? Why why do you say that one, Tipso? Tipso, you're lucky you have a mod. Oh, oh. Oh, why, why do you say that, Tipso? I'm so envious of you right now with these lobbies. Well, brother. <laughs> Dude, it's so fun. So enjoyable. And then when ranked comes out, that's going to be more enjoyable. Ranked is like my favorite game mode to play. But for pubs, this is... It's enjoyable when pubs are like this. Okay, I got to get a little bit faster with the quit scopes. Because, you know, we hit the shots. But I want the shots to be like black scopes. Embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah, you know, with SVMM, KD doesn't matter at all. Literally, KD does not matter whatsoever. The thing that does matter if you're trying to flex skill is like your rank play ranked. But like that's still, oh well, yeah, that's probably shows the most if you're trying to flex something. But um, yeah, the stats literally, ever since they added like strong SVMM, stats don't matter at all. At all, at all, at all. That was a nasty one. I think we can probably get a really good gameplay. I guess this was a decent gameplay. But I want to see if I can get a better one, you know? Get out like a double or a triple nuke. Oh, terminal's so enjoyable for it, though. Okay, tender damage. Oh, shit. Boom. 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 Any more clips? Oh, let's go. MGPs. GG's. Yo, see best on YouTube? But he has no idea what just happened to him. There we go. There we go. See how we're being unpredictable? We're going to the left. We're going to the right. We get the man crouching. Get his boyfriend over here. Never mind. We get the hit marker. You gotta aim higher. So this build, you'll probably get more hit markers. Well, no, you will get more hit markers with, but it is faster, and so it's a little bit easier at times to pop off with it. Yeah, buddy. But he's got the meta down. He's crouching behind the boxes, so I can't hit him. But he doesn't know that Sebas always knows where he's at. Wait, is there an? What was that? There's 19 guys on the flag. See what I mean? That's some weird, weird enemies over here. Okay, boom, there we go. We got the advanced UV up. Take that guy out. We got the advance activated. Now we can advancedly fuck over these men. Bro, I want to push up here. It's just the guys laying down. I kind of screw me over. Okay. This guy's... Oh. 
Bro, they all just spawned in front of me. What do they spawn? See? It's like you rush up, but then they all spawn in front of you, and I just missed the, the collateral. Yeah, you know what? We're playing a little bit slower than I than I wanted, but... I'm showing you guys all the ways you can use this. No! We're going to call on this VTOL, though. Just to cause a little bit of commotions over here. We're going to throw this trophy down. So if they try to capture that flag, we can kill them off. Although, I don't really want them... I, I don't want my teammates to have that flag, because I want the game to last longer. The stuns, the stuns. The stuns are so annoying. Imagine if we had shipping, like, no shotgun... No equipment shipping. So that no one can use any of their equipment. And then no one can use any shotguns. So then you could use like an SMG, LMG, whatever you want. And you don't have to worry about stuns or shotgunners. Ruining your day. Ruining your experience. Yo, that knife though? Maybe this knife needs to get banned too. And then make sure you always have your center. You need, you need a pop shot. You don't want to be drag scoping like that too much. Because it's a little bit harder to hit your shots. I kind of want them to take Alpha, but it's like, it's hard to not kill them off the flag immediately. Full send. That's the only way, boys. That's the only way you always got a full send. Throwing knives down there. I never hit any of my throwing knife kills. I've never hit them at all. Like, I really need to practice with my throwing knife. Enemies are spawning in front of me. Now they're down here. I know I'm a Panchito. I'm hard scoping. See, I almost died from hard scoping. Yo, teammates, move. Move your fatas. See, okay, since my teammates, like, since we're capturing every flag, spawns are very weird and uncontrolled, and I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not dead. Let's go. Bro, they probably think I'm hacking. I just swooped it around. They can't hit me. There we go. Yo, we're on a 14, boys. We are halfway there to the nuke. Oh! That was pretty medical. That was pretty medical. I don't even know what medical means, but that was pretty medical. Okay, we're on the 20, boys. I want to play aggressive. But I know that they're all hiding. That was close. He has an LMG. I don't really want to... Teammate, I need you to move around the map. I need you to play for me. Go, 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 go. Teammate, go. Teammate, you fat ass. Bro, those guys are the worst. Would they have the light machine gun and they just hold down the trigger and they just hope that they hit a shot? See, I, I can't play slow. If I play scared and slow, that's when you start choking the nukes. And you start to get freaking stunned again. I want to throw my trophy down, but I feel like they're going to kill me as I throw this down. Okay, okay, we actually got it down. Let's go. They might spawn on C. I'm going to knife this guy. What? Dude, sometimes I knife the guy from Narnia, and then sometimes I'm point blank and I don't get the knife kill. Okay, the game is going to end pretty soon. We got to... We must clutch up. We, we must get this. Come on, I got to full send this. MGP! Let's go, boys. That was such a clutch, nasty nuke. The enemies aren't the best at the game. But they're still pretty good, and we got the nuke on them. Let's go. That's what happens when you stun. Oh, my base. Let's go, boys. Yo, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. We got the motherfucking MGB. Now I got to do it with the with the KV inhibitor. I want to do, like, a longbow inhibitor class. That would be actually crazy. And then I want to do a, a cat sniper build. That's what I, I got to do as well. We got the MGB. Oh, I feel so good now. Oh, let's go. Oh my days. What happened, boys? Oh, that's what happens when you guys use stuns. You're fucking nuked. I'm duked.